We've got downtown TJ Brown back here on the program. He's going to be taking on Kaya Kamaka coming up here at UFC Fight Night on May 1st. TJ, what's going on, man? How are you? Man, I'm great, dude. Uh, another day in the grind. You know how it is. And, and, uh, and uh, right at the end of camp, man, everything's been going well. Uh, everything's going good. How about yourself? Uh, no complaints. Happy to be talking to you. Uh, we were talking about it off air there. I know uh, you've been doing a lot of training over at Glory MMA. Uh, when did you make that switch? Because I feel like it's been going on for a while that you've been training over there. Yeah, you know, I got this. Uh, I got this call uh, uh, to fight Kai Kamaka a while back, almost about ten weeks out, you know. And and before that, uh, I talked to my manager James House. I was like, "Hey, man, I, I really like what those guys are doing over there. James seems to be a, a great coach. I'd like to go check him out." So I went over there and just spent about a week with him, you know, just to see if it was a good fit, see if it was a good place for me to be. And man, uh, I was super, I was super impressed, you know, by the whole program. I was like, man. I'm going to do my next camp there, you know. So um, I'll, I've spent about six weeks out of the eight to nine weeks there. So it's been great, man. Those guys have, have really treated me well, really pushed me hard. And uh, uh, James is just a really impressive coach. Now, uh, you know, ignorant Canadian over here, uh, how long is the travel time going from back home to, to Missouri? Like, is it, is it much of a, a hike to get out there? Yeah, it's, uh, it's about six hours for me, you know, so – uh, you know that that last trip back, my uh, my lower back was tight. I was like, man, these, these these trips are getting tough on me. You know, uh, having to drive back and forth. But I definitely say it was worth it, man. It uh, it really got me out of my comfort zone uh, and and it exposed some of my stuff, and also uh, uh, also uh, helped me have have a bit of uh, more belief in some of the things I was doing right, as well as expose some of the things. I needed to be working on. So, man, it was a great trip, man. I, I feel like, you know, a lot of training camps, you're, you're so focused on just, just getting in shape and working hard. You don't have a, a lot of time to uh, really improve. But, man, this is one of those camps I feel like I'm better. I've I, I really uh, developed and become a better fighter. Um, what would you say you've learned the most from your last two fights? I'm sure getting to work with James, you know, he, you've sort of gone back and identified things that you can work on. What, what were some of the, the takeaways from your last two performances? I would say mostly just identifying my game, you know, uh, really putting my game, right, writing my my game down, how I funnel people into the positions I am strong, and just just going into the fight, putting, being able to put myself in the positions to win. You know, for, before I, I've been just going out there fighting it, and it's worked out for me, man, you know, just going out there and uh, letting my hands go and, and hammering down, it's worked for me. But now I've just got a little bit smarter way about going uh, wait, go, about going about it, you know, so I feel good about that. And, and just also just kind of uh, sealing up some of the flaws and some of the holes in my game, you know, just just kind of fixing those so that I'm, I'm, I'm not making the same mistakes as this fight. This is an awesome fight here. Kaya Kamaka, 8-3 and three record, a Hawaiian, you know, the Hawaiians like the scrap, man. How do you feel like yeah. you match up against him in this fight? Uh, yeah, I think he's a game fighter, you know. I think he's tough, but, I mean, everybody is at this level. You know, everybody mm -hmm. in the UFC is tough. How, with that being said, I think I've got a, a great game plan to go out there and expose him and, and put him away. You know, uh, if, if I don't if I don't knock him out early, uh, I'm going to break him in the third. Love it. I like it. You didn't even hesitate. It's just like, yeah, you got that in your head. That's good. So yeah. uh, being over at Glory, who are you getting to work with? Uh, there's a lot of guys in your weight class or a lot of guys around that range. Who, who did you mainly get to work with for this camp? Right, and I, I hate to name names because I, I feel like I'm gonna leave one of them out because man, so many of those guys. Well, let, me, let me let me help you out a little bit. Okay, so we've got Grant Dawson. I know is a bit of a, a weight class higher, yeah. but but he he's probably someone. Derek Derek Minner. Uh, you've got uh, Jeff Molina who's fighting. I know he's yeah. a little bit smaller. He's probably there. Uh, I'm trying to think who else are the lighter guys. I kind of stumbled yeah. myself here. Let me let me just think. Anyone I those missed are, that? Yeah, some of the main ones. Right? Those are all names uh, that, that I have worked with. And, you know, I'll say that because, man, so many guys have, have, have really put their hand forward to help me over there that, that, that I hate to leave them out. But some other ones that come to my mind are that Mike Breeden, who's just on oh, the, the Dan White Contender Series fight. This uh, David, uh, he's he's an up-and-comer. I think he's an undefeated pro. Should be making his scene soon. Uh, but just, just uh, Don, as a guy from Massachusetts, man, that there's – there's been several guys that have played a hand in this camp, and, and I will be sure to thank you after I put this guy away May 1st. How's the weight cut going ahead of this fight? It's going great, you know. Um, luckily, uh, I make uh, matched up with Evolve, you know. Oh, awesome. uh, okay. So those guys have really been taking care of me. On top of that, man, uh, you know, I, I went and trained in Colorado 
for for about a week and man that was tough dude <laughs> the elevation of colorado really uh put a whiffing on me but um the weight is to answer your question the weight i'm as low as i've ever been going into this fight so that just I, th- I think that just has something to say about my uh discipline uh this fight camp and how hard i've been working I uh, imagine when you went up to Colorado, did you get to work at Factory X? Because I know a lot of the uh, Iridium fighters who you rep by were, were up there. I was actually uh, in Grand Junction. Oh, okay. Um, so, so that was, uh, it was Grand Grand Valley, BJJ, and Muay Thai. Uh, th- those guys really took care of me. Uh, it was a really nice gym, and Colorado is beautiful, man. Oh, it is. I know. I, I, I love it out there. Uh, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? So it'll be James Krause. Uh, Rolly Delgado, my coach has been there my whole career, and I'm actually going to bring my brother, uh, my younger brother. He's a D1 wrestler at uh, Euler, and and uh, man, he he's always had dreams of uh, of fighting, you know, for as long as I've known him. But I was like, hey man, you got to go get your uh, you got to go get your degree first. You know, it's good to have a backup plan because this game's tough. Like, yeah, you know, I I squeezed it off. I'm at UFC, you know, but most don't and. And on top of that, even if you do make GFC, you you need to have a backup plan when it's all over. Mm-hmm. But anyways, with that being said, he's, he's he's just always wanted to. He was a UFC fan, and he's always loved fighting. And uh, now he's, he's finished his degree, and he's looking at fighting. And I was like, man, what better uh, trip could I give him than, than to bring him to an actual UFC event? You know, so he's he's super pumped, and I think it's going to be a great experience for him. And and not only that, I remember him being. At one of my fights, uh, one of my uh, it was a kickboxing championship bout. I remember him being there, and it, it just put me in a good mind space. You know, I just I felt like you know I've got to set a good example for the little brother. I've got to go out there and show him uh, set, show him how it's done. You know, and and I just like the mindset I was in, and uh, I feel it'd be a great opportunity to bring him. One name I didn't mention because you just reminded me when you spoke about Roley is uh, Bryce Mitchell. I know that he's still dealing with an injury as far as I know. I was speaking to his manager last week. He's sort of targeting like a fall return. Have you talked to Bryce recently? And if so, how's he doing? Yeah, uh, we, we've trained uh, since I've been back uh, to Little Rock these last few days. He uh, He's doing better, you know. Uh, his hand's getting better. Uh, we, we did mostly grappling. He's not doing a lot of hard strike or anything yet because of his hand but uh yeah he's back man and he's been working with me uh he's uh you know bryce he's crazy man but uh he's got a lot of stuff going on but i'm sure he'll be back you know knocking on the door of the champion soon yeah and how how inspiring is it to have him as a teammate and be a part of you know a group that that's really making their mark in the ufc like you know you guys don't come from like a notable like you know high like like a gym that that people talk about you know so to see bryce's success it must be pretty cool for you as well because you guys started out together right right uh you know it, it, it it's awesome man i i i've got a lot of love for bryce man a lot of respect for him and i'm super proud of him but also with that being said, you know, like uh, I know how how good I am too, you know, so I want a bit of that myself, you know. So it's a bit of a motivating factor too for me to to get out there because I know how good I am and, and, and man, I, I want to see that some of that success myself. But but with what you were saying, I, I do carry a bit of my chip on my shoulder, you know, knowing that uh, we weren't from this big mega gym, you know. Uh, we, we, we really came from the, the bottoms of Arkansas and, and, and really – Claw, uh, fight and clawed our way to where we are now. I know you kind of talked about it there, but how do you see the fight unfolding on May 1st? Oh, uh, man, like I said, dude, uh, I, I think we've got a game plan to really expose this guy. And if you don't see me knock him out early, I'll, I'll break him in the third. Uh, obviously, you know, the optics of this fight coming in off two losses. Uh, do you feel like this is kind of a must-win fight? Or is the mentality that, you know what, you've gone to this new camp, you feel rejuvenated, you got that confidence there, like you were saying with James Krause. What's the mentality going into this fight? Um, I, I believe I, I believe uh, that... that, that after losing those two fights, there was a real pain and a real fear to 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 make some changes and to, and to do what I needed to do necessary to keep my job. And that's exactly what I did. I did what I was supposed to do this last camp. I've worked harder than I ever have. I made changes that put me out of my comfort zone. I made changes that, that were not easy for me, not easy for my family, not easy uh, for myself. And I did everything necessary for this fight. And all that's left for me is to go in there and perform. And I've never had a problem with going out there and giving my best. So uh, I'm going to go out there and, and leave it all out on the line so I can keep my job that I've worked for for this long. 
for so looking long. forward to it, man. It's uh, UFC Fight Night May first. TJ, appreciate the time as always, man. Just remind people where they can get a hold of you on social media, and if you got any sponsors or shoutouts, I'll give you the last word. Of course, man. I just want to want to thank everybody that that's helped me throughout this camp, whether it's back home helping with my classes or helping with my son while I was gone. But uh, it's all going to pay off May first. Make sure to follow me on Downtown TJ Brown.